Hey guys, it's Andrew from Cardinal Kia. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to schedule a charge in the 2023 Kia EV6. I have in front of me here a GT in steel gray matte. Let's get started. Okay, so to start us off, we are gonna head into the 12.3 inch infotainment screen, and we need to go into the EV menu, which we can go ahead and swipe the screen to the left and you'll see EV in the corner, or from the home screen, we just go ahead and touch the car in the middle, and that brings us into our EV menu. So down here, you'll see it says a next departure. So right now there is no departure time set. So if I go ahead and touch next departure, it's gonna come up and you have two different options to set. And if we head into the little gear here, you can control when your next departure time is. So that way the vehicle is going to make sure that it's completely charged up by the time you're ready to leave at that time. So if I go ahead and set, I was playing with it earlier, let's say you leave at 7.30 in the morning and you've got a Monday to Friday. So go ahead and make sure that it's charged, um, that, sorry, that it's plugged in, and then it's gonna go ahead and charge when it needs to in order to make sure the car is ready for that time when you go to depart. So I'm gonna hit okay, so you put whatever time or dates you want, I'm gonna hit okay, and you'll see departure one is now checked on. So now there's a departure date set. If we were to go back one, you'll see now we can go in and schedule charging and climate. So when we go in, you have the option to go into the schedule charging and you can actually choose whether you wanna prioritize the off-peak charging or only charge during the off-peak hours. So if you wanna save a little bit on your electricity, you go ahead and choose what times you want it to start charging based on your area, or you can only have it uh, charge during those off-peak hours. So if it was in the middle of the night, for example, it will go ahead and charge. Once it's done, it's done. Otherwise, it'll go ahead and charge up to a certain time, and then it wouldn't charge anymore because you have it set to only off-peak. So that's up to you if you wanna set it a certain way, again, just to try and save on electricity, uh, your electric bill. You can also go into your scheduled climate, hit the gear there, and then you can preset having the climate control set to whatever temperature you want for when you get into the car. So if you know it's gonna be a bit chilly out, we can go ahead and just make sure that the temperature is turned up so the cabin is gonna get nice and warm by the time we're ready to leave at our departure time, and you can preset having your front windshield defroster uh, already turned on as well. And if it's a summertime, you just go ahead and drop that temperature down and it's gonna go down lower just to make sure it's not quite as hot inside um, when you go to turn that on and you just make sure that it's set to on over here. So right now, based on all this information, is that our next departure is going to be uh, tomorrow at 7.30 a.m. and it's scheduled to have the climate go on. So when I am done for the day with the car, I go and plug it in, it's gonna go ahead and kick in based on the settings that we've set. And don't forget that if you happen to be out and about and you're just gonna plug in and charge anyway, even though we have a schedule set in the infotainment, when you go to plug in, if it doesn't start charging, you can go ahead and press and hold this hold button here and it's gonna override the schedule and just go ahead and start charging in that moment. And that's how you do it. Thanks for watching, guys.